All right, Jordan, what's up, man? What up, my man? All right, so we've been deep in the vibes. We've been like vibe coding, vibe marketing, doing a lot of that over the past couple months. And we've been having a lot of conversations around like what the future looks like with all this stuff. And something you brought up recently was like, man, there's so much friction in setting up all of these like workflows and these in things people are sharing on X look like a conspiracy theory. Yeah, the meme, <laughs> conspiracy yeah. theory meme. Yeah, like Amir MXT, you guys did a video and he said cursor is going to be the interface for work. That planted a seed that I can't stop thinking about for probably like the last month or so. Maybe we've been on that wave. And then you put out something that had like this level of vibe marketers, like level one. What was it again? Yeah, so level one is when someone is using LLMs and silos. Level two, and, and to be clear, that's where like 90%, 95%, 98% of people are. Yeah. <laughs> or 99.9, 99.9. And then level two is when you're like, wait, why do I have to go here and here and do this and that? How do I start to like chain those together? And, you know, we've been talking about workflows and sharing them for a long time, but there's so much friction, like in the Vibe Marketers community, like people are like, man, I don't know how to go zero to one. This is really tough. I'm sure you see the same thing in like Startup Empire. Well, what's your feeling there? Yeah, just like it's super tough. We've been giving away these templates for probably two years now, whether they're make the JSON files for make, but everyone is so nuanced and they're so custom. They need just a slight tweak. And then it just breaks the whole thing. It's like almost like buying a template for a website. Looks amazing. But then when you don't have six case studies, it looks terrible because you only have five. And you're like, now I need another case study. It feels yeah. pretty similar to that. Yeah. And like I've I've essentially totally stopped building any kind of workflow in, you know, these node based tools. And since the video with Amir, I've been just all in on cursor and Claude code and, and stuff like that. And you can do essentially anything in there, you know, but for these basic use cases, like let's say I wanted to, you know, look at uh, an automation that got my Google Analytics data, formatted it, sent a weekly update in Slack or something. I don't need to go into, you know, cursor or whatever to build that. But I also don't really want to go and build like something in in it in. And yesterday you showed me something that is kind of mind blowing, to be honest. I think this reaches our dream level four vibe marketer where you ascend basically. So if level one, two, three, four, if it's like a river, I feel like people start at the top of the river and, and ride the current down. Yeah. And then this feels like in between level three and level four. And when I saw it, it blew my mind. So I'd love to see what you've cooked. All right. So let's open it up and we're just going to look at a really basic use case here. I just wanted to get a, a handle on what this is. So let's uh, switch layouts and let's share my screen. All right. And you say what it is. should we say what it is and explain it a little bit? Let's do it. Go ahead. Get us yeah. on there. It's string.com. An incredible <laughs> domain. <laughs> Unbelievable domain. And it is Brought to you in part by, no, brought to you by Pipe Dream that has been in the game for quite some time and has been a very technical AI automation stack where you needed to be a hyper dev, even more technical than make N8N. Like it's true coding in Pipe Dream. And what they've created is something for us non devs to ascend into the dev land. Yeah. So the I think the easiest way to explain it is this is like Bolt for workflows or Replit for workflows or Lovable for workflows. So basically, like I went into Industring and I signed in. I already had a Pipe Dream account. I've been playing with Pipe Dream a little bit uh, in the past, of course. Um, but I opened this up and I was like, hey, I want to get a weekly Slack update of my Google Analytics data. You know, pretty simple. Um, but the beautiful thing is, is that I don't have to create it. String does it for me. So um, I'll show you the output first, the, the final result. And then I'll show you like the steps that I had to go through to get this live. And like the ease of this was like just absolutely in incredible. Um, all right. So you said time to from first prompt to working was like four minutes. Yeah. L like three or four minutes and that was like, less than the time we've already recorded been been recording <laughs> yeah so we've all seen these like you know node-based workflows and, and stuff you know and 
I, I set a prompt. I was like, I want to get a weekly Slack update of my Google Analytics data. And then this string agent, I guess you could call it, uh, got to work. It said, okay, I'm going to create an agent that runs weekly to fetch your Google Analytics data and send a summary to Slack. Here's what I'll build. Set up a weekly timer trigger. That's node one. I don't have to configure that. I don't have to do it. It's doing it for me. Connect to Google Analytics to pull your key metrics, format the analytics data into a readable summary, and then send it to Slack. So, I mean, you don't have to go into Zapier. You don't have to go into Gumloop. You don't have to go into NADN. It's going to build this for me, um, which is is just huge. <laughs> so, um, you know, looking at kind of the, the reasoning here, I said, okay, that sounds good. I clicked the button, right? And then the next thing that it did is it, just provided like this Google Analytics window in the chat that let me click a button, log into Google Analytics. So it already had my account. It had all the properties or the Google Analytics, like, you know, uh, dashboards that I've got. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. Let's do it for boring marketing. Um, so it retrieved the data and then it sent another one. It was like, cool, that, that looks good. Let's connect to Slack. I said, all right, let's connect to Slack. And it had me test each of these and it was working in, in a matter of minutes and, and that's it. And uh, I went over and I'm going to show you what this little report looks like. Um, and let's open up Slack. That's so cool. Could you have forked that and basically like made a, like added that to like a Claude artifact? Could I add that as a Claude artifact? I don't want to be a stretch, but um, but like, look at this. Like, there's this little like report here that I'm able to now is scheduled every single week that comes in and gives me like real data on Google Analytics. So, I mean, the whole team can see it. Uh, one person goes through a four minute step to build a workflow, and you've got it here. No one needs to figure out how to build a node-based system, how to format the data, how to access certain reports in Google Analytics. It's literally done for you. It's beautiful. And that's what Vibe Marketing is. Like, this is one dashboard. You're already in Slack. You yeah. don't need to go and get, you know, look at GA. It literally, the data will come to you. Exactly, exactly. Really powerful, man. I think you're dropping some major alpha on people here sharing this tool. I don't know. I think people are going to love it, man. Like just looking at the conversations in the community and questions that come in all the time on X, like people get stuck on this and I'd love to see some people share some like complicated ones they can build here. Yeah. Same. I want to play this weekend with, with it and just try to build some like very complex forks and multi flows that have logic built, built in it. Cause that was cool. But imagine if you could send that to Claude or GPT four and get like a dashboard based on the data also use the historicals to, to create like a trend over time. So you have like a week over week map, basically. Mm -hmm. That would be wild. And, you know, Pipe Dream, they've also been doing a lot of stuff with MCP servers. So I'd imagine this could, if you could create a workflow that, I don't know, has an MCP server and you could interact with that via, you know, chat in Slack or, or something like that. So, yeah, we definitely need to dig in on this and see what, what all is possible. Yes, it's time to cook with the strings. String cheese. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, yeah, thanks for showing it to me, man. I, I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, anything you, else you want to shout out or anything like that? We're sharing as much sauce as we possibly can. I didn't even want to share this. I won't lie. It seems too good. <laughs> well, I think it's probably going to blow up now. Dude, it only, I think when I saw it, the CEO posted it. And he has a ton of followers. I didn't know this guy before. Todd, I think his name is. Yeah. He had like 50,000 like views like 19 hours after he posted it or something. Or like eight hours after he posted it. Yeah. So people are sleeping for sure. I've seen way worse get way more. Oh, yeah. Now people are going to be showing their their string workflows on uh, on X. That's going to be the new meta. Yeah. Honestly, high dream free idea for you. Just have a share button that takes a <laughs> screenshot and it lets people share it out. Product led growth vibe marketing right there, baby. Let's there go. Is. All right, my man. Have a good weekend. You too. Talk to you soon. Peace.